Hello everybody, it's Klaas Hata all the way from South Africa and you're watching Trucker George Vlogs on YouTube. Enjoy. Hey, I'll be outside. Good morning, world. So if you watched yesterday's video, you'll know that we got this front area here cut and mowed and the backyard cut and mowed yesterday. Today we continue to do the other parts of the yard. Probably got another couple hours worth. I had to get the pickup out of the garage so I can get the mower out. Parked it a little further away because I want to mow all of this here yet. Don't want to be throwing rocks at the pickup. Don't need any stone chips. Where are you? Where are you? There you are, my pretty. <laughs> my old girl. Still going strong. She does need a new battery though, so it doesn't start on her. She doesn't start on her own. You gotta hook her up to the defilibrator here. Give her a little bit of a jolt. Get her to wake up. Needs a new battery. Yep. So let's hook her up, let's get her running. And let's go to town on our yard. We're having guests over tonight, so gotta make sure everything looks nice, clean cut, and fresh. First gotta make sure she's all filled up with juice. Almost, well I'll fill her up anyway, just to top her up there. Check the oil. Tractor's been burning a little bit of oil recently. It's not a huge big deal, but uh, no, it's getting old. It happens. Fill her up a little bit of go-go juice. Top her off here a little bit. Just a little bit. So don't gotta worry about filling this up again right away. There we go. Caps back on, so oil is good, gas is good. Battery is not good, but that's okay. We'll deal with that another day. We just gotta make sure that the tractor doesn't shut off on the opposite end of the property. Cause then I gotta push it all the way back here or bring my mobile generator all the way over there so that I can boost it. But she works. All right. All right, let's turn her on here. It's hard to get this to uh, connect sometimes. There we go. Let's see if we can get this thing going. power. Come on. Come on. All right. Give a little bit of a... Here we go. <laughs> yesterday's vlog we got all this done we got to get the lower yard done today and the side yard uh, so we'll start with the lower yard actually you know I should probably start with the side yard that's more visible to guests when they come oh, oh boy I can't wait till one day I can get a track 
tractor of my own, like a big tractor, so I can level this yard. It's so bumpy. All right, so I'll show you the lower yard that I'm talking about. There's a big old dead tree, look at that thing. But these trees here, they've grown seriously like almost three feet this year. It's been incredible. Awesome. Everything is growing so fast, I love it. And this is our lower yard here. This really needs a cut, this is really long. over here. So there's a creek in there. All that over there. Uh, I don't do anything with them. Just leaving it wild right now. That's all ours. Everything you see here. I want to mow it down eventually, but uh, I need to build a bridge so that I can access it a little easier and quicker. I guess not. Yesterday I uh, parked it here and I did the same thing. I said, oh, it might backfire. Watch out, watch out. So I was plugging my ears. Nothing happened. And I let my guard down. I was like, oh, I guess it's not gonna backfire. Start getting off. BAM! <laughs> Scared the daylights out of me. You're not gonna do that again to me today, are you, girl? Easy. Easy. 
No fireworks today? All right, all right. Woo! The yard. Safe and E. Oh, we could do some more weed whacking if we wanted to, but I'm just happy to have that all done. Right on, well, on to the next task at hand. There's always something to do. Ah, I messed up the floor a little bit in here. My wife did a good job sweeping it yesterday. I better clean up my mess now. Always clean up after you're done. You know, when I was a kid, I think the biggest mistake I kept making, or the biggest thing that would probably drive my dad crazy is I wouldn't clean up after myself. I'd probably drive my mom crazy too, to be honest. But I'm just thinking like, I'd go into the garage or into the shop, borrow my dad's tools and just leave them wherever I was done with them. Didn't put them away. Didn't clean up the garage when I was done. It made a mess, just left it dirty. You know, and I got away with a lot, you know. <laughs> Those are bug biting me. Hey, these flies keep biting me. I got away with a lot. I think a little bit too much. I was the youngest in the family. So uh, I, I think I got away with a little bit more than I should have. But young people out there, if you're still living at home with your parents, young guys, when you borrow your dad's stuff or when you make a mess inside the house, don't assume someone else. Don't, ex don't assume mom and dad will come and clean it up and put things back. Always leave things better than you found them. So if you're going into the garage to borrow your dad's tools or even just a buddy's tools, or you're going into, uh, you know, uh, if your mom works in the office like mine does, if you're going in there to borrow her stuff, uh, look at things before you start using it. And then when you're done with it, make sure it looks better than when you started using it. I'm not perfect at that by any stretch of the imagination. Like I said, when I was a kid, I was terrible at it. I never cleaned up after I made a mess. And you know, if you develop those habits early, I know I'm probably sounding like your dad right now, but he's got a point, you know? Maybe if you don't listen to him, maybe you'll listen to me. Sometimes it's different coming from a friend, right? Than from a parent. If you create these good habits when you're young and always leave things better than you found them, it'll follow you into your adult life when you're working, whatever job you get into. And believe me, if you continue that habit at your job when you're older, your boss is gonna love you. And guess who's gonna get all the promotions and the pay raises, hopefully? You, hopefully. I mean, one more. either way, even if, even if you don't, you know, the best thing to do when you're doing something good for someone else, don't expect anything in return. It defeats the purpose. If you're doing something good for someone just to get something yourself in return, you're not really doing any good. You're trying, you, you, you got selfish motives then, right? You're doing it for yourself. You're not doing it for others. When you do something nice, like uh, clean up an area better than you found it, you're doing it for someone else because you care about them and you're investing into someone else, right? It'll come back around. And people will start doing that for you, you know? But don't look at me like I'm perfect at that at all, because I'm not. I got a lot of work to do. I mean, I've grown a lot uh, spiritually and mentally and physically in the past five, 10 years. Like, uh, I'm nowhere near perfect when I say you should do these things. I'm not saying that I'm perfect at them. I'm just saying it's a good idea. I'm only 31, but I do have a little bit of experience. A little bit. Nice. Good trick. Can you do it again? No? Yes, it's a one-time thing, man. One-time thing. Don't blink, you'll miss it. All right, are you impressed with my fire? You like my fire? Now well, that's how you make a proper Saturday night bonfire. Still tearing apart that uh, lean-to on the side of our garage there. Slowly getting it all burnt and next season we're gonna till it all into the garden here because this is all gonna be a garden. It's gonna be good fertilizer. What do you think, Diesel? Is that fire satisfactory for you? 
I ain't got a stick. It's got a big acorn on it. Good for you. Good for you. So the weather is so nice out today. Britt and I are going to go and have a date. Date day. A date beach day at the beach. We're going to Falcon Lake Beach in uh, southwest. No, no, southeast Manitoba. Sorry. It's like a... Yeah, a couple hours from here, an hour or so. I don't know exactly how far. I've never actually been there before, but she's been there. When I was little. It's been many, many moons. So we're going to go over there, soak in the sun a bit. Take a dip in the water, probably. It's I'm our first summer date of the year alone. Yeah. We usually bring friends along on our dates. Or parents. Or parents, or just people. So Mostly this, parents. This weekend, we're like, yeah, maybe we should do something on our own. Let's be an actual couple. <laughs> so let's go. Well, we're here, and the weather is hot, as promised. Just found a little bit of a parking spot. I think the beach is that way over there. I've never been here, so we just uh, stopped by the restaurant and stuff uh, behind us. Right there. So, let's go see what they got to offer. See what this beach is like. I guess I should help Britt carry some stuff. Been here for a little while now. It's starting to get a little bit windy though. If you look across the lake there, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, it's all smoky. There's some forest fires in Ontario and they're uh, kindly sharing their smoke with us here in Manitoba. Getting rid of the speeders though. That's true, yeah, that's good. Yeah. This is a really nice beach. Very, I really like it. This is our favorite Manitoba beach so far. Remember when we went to Huntington Beach in California? How dirty it was. It's supposed to be like a rich people beach and it was the most disgusting place I've ever been in my entire life. Beautiful yeah. beach, but just like people did not take care of it. People were not courteous, not clean up after themselves. There was, was garbage sick. everywhere. Oh. Bathrooms were disgusting. And the birds were everywhere because there was so much garbage. Yeah, eating oh. all the garbage. Yeah, this is much nicer than Huntington Beach. Yeah, our provincial parks are pretty well taken care of. You can see the smoke. The camera I don't think can pick it up as much, but all that smoke from Ontario still. Just floating through town. Yeah, it looks like it's later in the evening. It's not. It's only dinner time. We're gonna go get some ice cream here at the at the store and then head back home. I've gotten quite a bit of sun today. I'm feeling pretty tired drained. The sun just sucks all the energy out of you. Usually it does that for me too, but I don't feel that today. I felt drained earlier in the day and then we got to the beach and I felt better. Maybe I just needed some sunshine. This is like a blizzard type deal, but they call it a whiteout. Reese's Pieces. And she got what? Coconut flavored ice cream? No time to talk. No time to talk. Is it so good? So good. Yeah. It's my favorite flavor. I love coconut everything. Apparently it's cheaper to get ice cream in the store over there, the meat and grocery, than act the actual ice cream place next door. Who knew? My girlfriend's a bargain hunter. She told us about it last night. <laughs> Her parents have a cabin around here, so she helped us out. But the day is coming to an end. It's time to go home. Thinking I gotta go back to work tomorrow, but no load yet, so we'll see. Gotta wait for the morning. What are you guys watching? What are you watching? As ever, teamwork is critical. He's watching the nature show? Is he gonna get him? Is he gonna get him? I know, it's getting exciting. Amanis moves round to block the warthog's escape. Whoa. It's getting very exciting, guys. He's gonna lunge at them. He's gonna pounce. He's gonna pounce. Any second. There he goes. There he goes. She, that's a she. As one is flushed into the open, the flanking lioness rushes in for the kill. Oh, 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 they, they got it. They 
got it, man. Exciting. You taking notes? That's how you and Diesel work together to get the squirrel. You too, Frank. You have a part to play too. But all right, guys, it's time for me to sit down here at the computer and do some work. Thanks for watching today. Tomorrow we hit the road again. You'll have to tune in tomorrow to see where we're going. I'll give you a hint and say we're going to the US of A. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. G'day, everyone from around the world. This is Kane from New Zealand. You're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs. Enjoy. Uh -huh.